The potential risk of static charge accumulation on road tankers and tank trucks can be managed through the correct installation and proper use of the Earthright road tanker recognition system from Newson Gale, ensuring suitable grounding and preventing operation of equipment in unsafe conditions. In this video we're going to explore the principles of operation of the RTR system and although predominantly the same as Newson Gale's MGV system, the RTR is gantry mounted rather than a vehicle installed system. The EX certified RTR system can be supplied with either an EXD copper free cast aluminium flame proof or GRP enclosure, AC or DC power supply, intrinsically safe monitoring output, two volt free contacts to interlock with the process and an ATEX IECEX and FM approved clamp. An optional intrinsically safe output switch is available if required. The RTR system performs two key checks that enables three critical functions. The first check is capacitance and earth verification function. The system outputs a signal and looks to detect a connection to isolated metal plant equipment with a capacitance footprint typical to that of a row tanker. The same check also measures the soil resistivity to less than a thousand ohms resistance based on the NFPA 77 benchmark value. The second check continuously monitors the static ground monitoring connection to the road tanker's designated earth pin and the site earth network to 10 ohms or less in accordance with IECTS 60079-32-1. Only once these outputs are met will the system show a permissive state indicated by three pulsing attention grabbing green LEDs and energize whatever equipment such as a pump to control the flow of product to or from the road tanker. Interlocking with the transfer process means product flow can be halted should the connection exceed 10 ohms. Any static generated by the loading operation is transferred from the road tanker via the Earthright RTR to ground, mitigating static electricity as a potential source of ignition. The static dissipative GRP junction box is classed as simple apparatus and serves two functions. It allows provision to stow the clamp when not in use and separation between electrical and mechanical components. The benefits of having quick connects on either end of the high trail cable is if they need replacing or be damaged in a drive off, they can be replaced by non-technical personnel and do not have to wait for a certified electrician. The accompanying clamp is ATEX, IECEX and FM certified and has been subjected to various tests. It is made from stainless steel 304 to provide high levels of chemical resistance and uses tungsten carbide tips that are capable of biting through any deposits that might have built up on the designated earth point and provide a reliable, low resistance, less than 10 ohms, metal on metal contact. Whilst alternative systems will look for an isolated metal object, the RTR looks for a capacitance footprint of that typical of a road tanker and will not work on metal vessels that do not meet this value. If we take an industrial drum and apply the clamp, as you can see indicated by the fixed red LED that the system remains in a non-permissive state. This is because the drum doesn't have the capacitance value in relation to earth typical to that of a road tanker.